Today I want to show you how we can offload resource intensive long running tasks to Azure functions in Copilot Studio. So essentially in some scenario you might have requirement where you want to execute some of the things outside of the Copilot Studio, right? And in this scenario the recommended or efficient uh, the approach is to use the Azure functions, right? So essentially Azure functions are serverless uh, platform which is hosted in the Azure cloud and uh, in this uh, case you just need to uh, develop your code and then just embed into the Azure function rest of the things will be taken care by the, the Microsoft right so as you can see here in the screen so essentially this is the this is the pattern uh, where we can offload the, the task to the Azure function and here if you see uh, first the 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 conversation is started from the user and then it is going to the copilot studio and then copilot studio is triggering the function via the http code right so now let me go to uh, azure portal and let me show you how to set up the uh, the azure functions right so as you can see here i have already set up this function and this is the integration right so basically this this azure function will trigger using the http call okay and then there will be some input right and then it will trigger the this function and as a response it will return the response to the that api right so so let me go ahead and show you the code which will which this function will execute right so and to make this this demo simple uh, i'm using the default function right which which was created as part of this uh, uh, azure function okay so if you see here uh, this function is very simple it it is just expecting the some query string parameter and as a response it is returning the this string right so this is the very very simple function right and let me go ahead and paste this function so let me just provide some name here so let's run this so if you see here this function was executed and we can see the the response code is 200 which is which means it is successfully executed and it also returned the the response content right so now what we will do is we will integrate this azure function in the copilot studio right and we can get the url from here okay so this is the this is the endpoint for this function okay so so now let me go ahead and open the copilot studio and in the copilot studio uh, i already created uh, this integration so let me go ahead and and then the open the topic so this is my topic where i am invoking this uh, azure function okay and so since i want to execute this particular topic with uh, with all the utterance so i'm i'm using here the message received trigger so whenever user is typing all the all the events will go to this particular topic right and this is the http node where i am invoking the the this uh, um, uh, this uh, this function uh, azure function so so essentially what i am doing here is i am just invoking the url and along with that actually i am passing the query string parameter right and then this is the type of post okay and this will return a, re, uh, a string which i am storing in the in the variable and then i am displaying the this variable uh, message right so let me let me go ahead and just test it so let me just give some name here let's say row and then it will internally trigger the okay so it's already triggered the uh, the azure function and we can see the response from the from the uh, the azure function okay all right thank you for watching